happy birthday as well. You always find a way to pour your in solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, shootouts of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos that I publish every evening. Today for review, I have the Panasonic RF-P50D AM-FM portable radio. I purchased this radio for $16 shipped from Amazon, but now they're selling it for $12.95. So let's go take a look at the box. Picture on the front, mile number, FM AM. More stuff here on the back. We got uh, fluorescent pointer and glowing dial panel. Easy tuning by digital tuner, step tuning. Looks like a wrist strap hanging there. Label on label. I don't know what that says there. Made in what? Okay. Recycle, please. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. I'm guessing a radio. <laughs> what's that say? Before connecting, operating, or adjusting this product, please read the instructions. Okay. So what we get here. That manual. That's good to go over. Radio. Cool. A plastic bag. And there's something else in here. Okay, so I got some headphones. Hang on a second. Looks like the box is empty. Let's see what I got in my hand here. What? What the heck is this? Wow. Earphone. 1970s tech. Rock on, man. That's a waste. Okay. Um, Panasonic. Get the model number. So I was looking at this manual, and yeah, you don't really need to, you know, for a simple radio like this, but. It's kind of curious because I start seeing all these different weird like languages like what? So usually you know it's French, Spanish, English, but not I don't know what that is right there, Arabic something. But yeah, over here I saw that this is an import. Limited warranty for Australia only. So if you buy this in the US, you probably have zero warranty. Great. Okay. I'll just toss that aside. And the radio comes in a plastic bag. Look at that wrist strap. Whoa, ho, ho, nice and long. Okay, so let's go over dimensions. We have two and five eighths of an inch wide, four and five eighths of an inch high, and a case depth of one and one eighth inch. Okay, going over the radio left side here, we have the on off volume wheel. Which we? Okay. We have the earphone jack, left ear only. I tested it earlier, and yes, left ear only, and it has tons of background hiss. Wasted experience, unfortunately. Here we have the antenna also on the left-hand side. Pivots up, looks like it stops right about there. And this antenna extends out 14 inches. Okay, doesn't quite lock in place there. Kind of a cheap, cheap design there. I mean, they're trying to go for the sand gin, but they didn't even put a lock. Oh well. Okay, so you can see the fit and finish isn't perfect on my model. Doesn't look like things quite line up. I don't know. Uh, so bottom, we got little tiny pegs for feet. They probably should have just left those off. I don't know. I guess they said okay on there. Uh, the front, we have FM AM. Top of the dial, we have 88 to 108. Bottom, we have 5.3 to 16. Um, okay. 5.3, 530 to 1600 kilohertz. It's kind of a, not the expanded band we're used to. And then we this little dial here, when you turn it on, turns green. It's just painted on that wheel, so you know it's on. You saw the tuning light come on. It's a red LED there. FM AM two band receiver says it again. Speaker measures about a little under two inches. Panasonic. You know, the quality control isn't great on these things. Like there's a scratch right here. I don't know. Must have been from shipping or something. Whatever, cheap radio. Tuning, it feels kind of like the Nia a little bit. Maybe just a little rougher, believe it or not. Okay, um, the band select switcher, FM, AM, nice. Back of the radio, we got the mile number. Antenna screw, okay. Caution, good to know. Vented case, and then the battery compartment. I already put two AA batteries in there. They're kind of a staggered design. Okay, and our wrist strap, you saw that already, woohoo. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and extend the antenna and we're gonna play around on the FM band. So 
it is currently 10.41 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, so I don't have to add that later on the video. And for those of you who um, just don't want to sit here through a tireless band scans of FM and AM, you can just fast forward towards the end of the video. Typically, I spend about two, two, three minutes on the end talking about the radio, my final thoughts. So let's see what we can hear tonight on the FM band. Rock out on this little Panasonic. Woohoo! Trying here. Tuner's kind of not sensitive. Pretty, and I was working very limited right now. Pretty much social security income. Okay. All right. Uh, and it, uh, does that cover the needs education work as like a former white supremacist? Or Oh, this thing's hard to tune. Okay, won't well, bother trying to find that station. Gosh, either all or nothing here. or some good rock and roll. Jeez. Okay, this is really hard to tune. I heard my classical station there somewhere. 98.7. That marker might be way off. Cool, we got some cool music now finally. Okay, that was pretty uneventful. Just because it's hump day doesn't mean you can start pumping your uh, radio. So, yeah, this that wasn't a great experience at all. Um, difficult to tune. We're going to go to the AM, see what we can hear there. I'm not having high hopes for this, but... I guess what can you expect for something cheap? I was hoping for a better deal with this one, but okay. AM band. That none of the and maybe rightly. And 
went ahead and recognized Jeff. About 90% of that. Are they that into the system that Mad Maggie was running the last few seasons? Okay. This dial, I think, is way off. Because um, I think we just heard 650 Nashville earlier there. And the pointer's not even near 650. And I think we just had Chicago 670 there. I, they said, yeah, right. So we went one step further and said, we'll let customers enjoy it for a full 365 nights. This sounds like no 720. They said, you're crazy. Face treacherous situations. That's Zoomer Radio for sure on 740. And that's where the dial's at. Yeah, not great. Veterans with the support of generous WJR. Improves veterans' lives on a daily basis across the United States. Traffic and weather together on the 8th, sponsored by First American Bank. Here's Abby Ryan. In on the Edens, in from Lake Hood to Montrose 780, WBBM. The Edens for tonight on the westbound side. Wow, that was fast, 860, uh, Toronto, let's see if we can back it up, okay, so Minneapolis, This should be 840. I'm just going to bring out the pocket, double check. Are we liable for the balance of, of whatever the house um, is um, if they sell it low? Yes. They can't come after us for that balance? Well, they, yes, absolutely. What kind of a loan do you have, FHA, VA, or conventional? It's a conventional. It is 850. What happened was my husband also had a, um, uh, he had gotten an accident on the job, so he was disabled for a couple of months. And I'm going to call it KOA Denver, so uh, cause it, I do believe this is a talk show that's on the evenings, this business one. So yay, this is a bonus for this radio. Cool. You know what, we can try for 880. You have to try. Actually, the program I see live streamed on the Aurora Facebook page. Buried there in the static. Okay, we keep going. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're at. I'll try to find the station. Sometimes that stuff that people, you know, assign a value to and charge you 
a lot of money for it. Sometimes they don't. Orange Jacoby, thanks so much for speaking to me today. I really appreciate it. 990. It was uh, fun talking to you, and uh, hope people get a chance to see the movie and learn more okay. about Richard's life. Orange Jacoby is a documentary filmmaker who saw his first Richard Hamilton painting in the early 1980s. That was the beginning of a lifelong fascination. Out a one-point overtime win versus Seton Hall. Local. And as a friend texted... We'll see if this is 1020. Okay. So this is 1020. Nice. Why is this relevant today? Pittsburgh. What lessons are there available for us to learn? Well, um, two, two things, Jim. I think, first of all, um, it's important. Evil uh, impetus that created the attacks or fomented the attacks. And he created a nonprofit called Heart 911. And he goes out to communities devastated either by natural disasters 1040, um, possibly. or by humanly perpetrated disasters to help them recover. Uh, this has now yep. become his life mission. Okay. And the third panelist is a man by the name of John Prendergast. See, 1040, and look where the uh, pointer's at. This, this sucks. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, reception's great. I'm getting good, decent selectivity, too. Like a 1060. I mean, the only way you could ever start turning any of this around is if you went through the education system. I mean, all the way from elementary school all the way through the universities throughout the United States. I just think for the whole world, it's specifically the United States of America has completely revamped the education system. Get rid of all the teachers that are anti-American. Okay, it's 1100. Cleveland. Probably St. Louis. I like having that pocket there to ID this. It's like this is a local religious station. 1160. So that's 1140, Richmond, Virginia. Nice, okay. Cool. I find this. I thought I heard 1320. 
Okay, 1290, Dayton, Ohio. It's not coming in that great. <laughs> what the heck? Sounds pretty close. 1540, I'm guessing. If you catch a squirrel, relocate it at least three miles away so it won't return. Check local wildlife ordinances and follow prescribed guidelines. Get more info at bobvila.com and right here at yep. home with me, Bob Vila. Okay, 1540. Woohoo! People make your business work. So know where I'm at. But how do you find the right talent? Zip recruiter. One click posts your job to over 100 top job boards. Might be 1610, I'm gonna check it. Fifteen ninety. Don't have any letters for that, but definitely something coming through. Coming a little stronger than the pocket. Cause that's good. I guess this is 1610 out of Toronto. Yep. I might have heard 1630 there. The mighty KJJ, whatever it is. Yep. Okay, that's it. That's where it stops. Okay. Well, let's do some final thoughts on it. All right, um, this radio, yeah, it, uh, the FM's not so great. Uh, it was difficult to tune. Um, the AM band's very sensitive, as you saw. Um, can't tell where you're at in the dial, though. That's unfortunate. This dial is no good. Um, fit and finish is kind of crummy. 
like I said, scratched in the box. I mean, it just has a cheap feel to it. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, I would probably pass on this radio. Um, there's so many good radios for the money. I know it's only 13 bucks right now, but, oh, geez. I mean, you've seen some of the cheaper ones out of China that are better, like my Nia, if it ever becomes available again. That's a great radio for 7 bucks. Um, the one that Radio Geek found, that Ky- Kaimita blue one, I think it's probably about that big. You know, it sounds like he can tune that better than this thing. Um, I don't know if I just got a bum radio here, if you guys got the same radio and are having good luck with it. I just, I don't know. I I think I paid too much, 16 bucks. Uh, I think that uh, I'm happier with my Sony P26 for 18 bucks. Uh, I'm happier with my Texans, what, 218. And yeah, so I just uh, cannot recommend this as a buy for sure. <laughs> Um, so yeah, save your money, uh, buy something better. Um, I really, to be honest with you, I thought I'd be getting a good radio here, but apparently I got a lemon or this is, they're just not making them like they used to. Um, but as a, as it goes, you know, at least the reviews here and you guys know you saw for yourselves. Um, if you want a little amp performer, you can get this for 13 bucks and it seems like a decent price to you. Then go ahead. Um, I'll put a link up for that. Also, I'm going to do, I'm going to tear this radio apart. And I'm going to post some pictures on my Patreon page. They're public. So you guys, I'll put a link there too. You guys can check it out. I don't want to put them in the video. I'll just take it out and have nice close-ups so you guys can view those. That way we can see what this thing looks like from the inside. All right, well, like the video. If you like the presentation, you like the review, um, it was pretty spot on. That's great. Uh, subscribe if you're new. If you're looking for radio reviews of new and classic radios, as you heard me in the beginning, um, this is a place to be. Hit the little bell icon. Get notified every evening of uh, the new videos. And then comment below what you think of this little silver gray beast of a radio <laughs> and what you think of it. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.